Oh man, what a roller coaster of days, bro. I just lost a video that probably had like 1.5, 1.8K views because of this guy, Kumo, the guy that we're talking about in this video. And this guy, Kumo, is actually super pressed. Here's what happened. It says, hi, due to a copyright removal request that we received, our video will be taken down from YouTube in seven days. Kumo apologizes, but still blames everyone. Video title, Kumo, and then it just shows the video URL. Uh, and then it's literally, I've never seen this before, content found in custom thumbnail. He tried to strike me for a thumbnail. I don't, what are the implications? I have no idea. I didn't even know you could do this. It's insane. So going ahead further, we ended up trying to figure out what exactly was going on. What was exactly going through his head, why he was going through this. And apparently his reasoning for this whole entire situation was because it happened to him at the beginning of the month and nobody cared about it. And I'm going to be real, Kumo. I didn't know this was happening to you. I had no idea this was going to be happening to you. I had no idea. It's future flatly talking. What's up, guys? It was already resolved two weeks ago. It's just swinging it up even more bro come on bro like come on kumo what are you doing out here bro you look like a little bit <laughs> it's just like it was already resolved why go after me i don't really care about the video that you struck i don't care about the thumbnail that you wanted to take away i don't really care that you're calling me these names and everything like that and soying it up and playing ball and all this other kind of stuff all i want to happen is for you to come on twitter youtube come to me anywhere dms anything and say flatly i'm sorry i was wrong i don't care if you're sorry that you struck my video down i just want you to say you're sorry even if you don't mean it to give me that selfish satisfaction that i really really need to soak in bro really grow my ego with it bro I really need that ego boost. Tell me that you were wrong and you were sorry, and I'm going to take it and run with a mile, bro. That is it. That's it. But two wrongs don't make a right, and in commentary, we feel really bad for that ha to happen, but <laughs> I, I really, there's nothing else for me to say. There's nothing else for us to do. I mean, it's two weeks ago. It went by. If you would have brought it to our attention and, and my community and, and our community over here in commentary, we would have had the same stance as we did for me. You're like, it's, but it is what it is at the end of the day. I guess he's just solely boying it up. So I'll just re-upload the video. It's going to be talked about. I think he's a little mad that I called him out for being in this love triangle situation he's in with just a robot and Cinny. Uh, Kumo is absolutely upset that he got beta cucked by a robot PNG YouTuber. Not a furry, not somebody trying to be the other gender, not somebody trying to be a transform, straight up a robot. Their YouTube is called just a robot. It's a PNG YouTuber who pretends to be a robot. Sinny, his girl, right? His little sweetheart is a predator. This whole entire thing is because Sinny Bear is a predator. It's crazy to me. Crazy, but we got some DMs to read out here. Here's Beckett. Shout out Beckett. Uh, I really feel bad for him because he was the only one giving Kumo the benefit of the doubt out of everybody in this uh, echo chamber of a uh, quote unquote echo chamber of commentary. But Beckett goes, you're striking at randoms. If you only care about these things when they happen to you, you don't care about them. Flatly never struck you. And Kumo goes, nope, Malem struck me and I had no grounds to fucking dispute it. I don't care about them because because nobody fucking cared about it when it happened to me. I don't get what there is to argue about here. Where was his outrage when the same exact thing happened to me? Where was I given two strikes that I couldn't dispute? And Becky goes, it's about having some basic principles regardless of what others are doing. I've said this the whole year, that using bad taxes is a bullshit weak move. If you don't care about these things once the tide turns, then you're going to find yourself very alone. Take the strike down on private and apologize. This is a huge thing to F up. Kuma goes, nah, I think I'll dig my heels on this one. I'm not going to apologize for their own double standards. There's only an outrage when it's someone they already don't like. If someone they don't like has done it to them, they're oddly f***ing quiet. These principles mean f*** all to any of them, so why should they to me? And all I got to say is... Kumo, I don't care that you tried to strike my stuff down. I think it's super wrong, super improper, but I got no bad blood towards you, bro. Like, I don't understand why I did it. I'm being very critical of your actions and how you've really handled this whole entire situation between you, Cine Bear, and Just a Robot. I don't know how Just a Robot, with his video that came out, how he ended up coming out looking a little better than you. I mean, you really dug yourself a, a grave here, and I think you really got to lay into it. I don't care if he tries to take the strike down. I already, I already took down the video, so there's nothing that's going to happen, right? I don't care if he on privates on twitter it is what it is but i do want him to apologize i want you to apologize to me i want you to admit your wrongdoings i want to, i want you to admit that you thought a little too fast about this and you're just soying it up i really don't think that, that you're handling this the best of your abilities and you're really taking this to heart once all those logs got leaked you just really hit the fence hard like really really hard and then jessica pizzle ends up coming out and saying some other things like uh no one knew about your thumbnail issue like we all said uh this community which includes flatly why are you attacking people over something we didn't know about if if any of us knew who the fuck you were or knew about it, we all would have rage. You're thinking, you're thinking too much of yourself. You're new here. Whatever rep you had in the ACC doesn't transfer over, Home Slice. Shout out Jessica Pizzle. And Kumo decides he's going to go, you actually do know of my existence, hence why you follow me, hence why you follow Beckett. It has been mentioned on platforms larger than mine, and literally nobody gave up 
so keep that same energy now and i honestly think just because he orbited or larger creators talked about him once he thinks that jessica pills is going to know exactly who he is i honestly don't i've never heard jessica ever say and i'm pretty close i like to consider myself pretty close you know we kind of hang out in the same sphere i've never once heard her talk about kumo right never once heard her say anything about kumo and then xylee comes in with a big hammer coming in hey if we would have known about it we would have been on your side but your dumb is gonna go and do the same dumbs grow the fuck up and have some fucking standards you don't even know how to play this game bro and then he had this really 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 really, really weird thing against me but uh cope and seethe also known as becca says okay i attempted to get him to remove the strike he refused he says flatly can take it down and re-upload it without his art as no one cared when he was stuck for the same thing i cannot stress enough how fucking retarded this is i rarely get actually mad at this gg honestly shout out to beckett he really didn't need to do any of this and i think the only person at the end of the day this truly hurts is beckett because beckett did have him on stream and it is pretty much uh pretty much throughout his olive branch that avenue was gone now that avenue that was there <sighs> but then he ends up going on saying anyway your screenshot means literally nothing i'm not going to engage in this any further a dignified bunch of hypocrites back to my break our hashtag artist theft and he really i don't even think he went on break because he just kept coping about this for hours there that's ace howler and khug hello commentary people feel free to screen cap this and share it with the others as, uh, I don't know why how Ace and, and K-Huck got it, but I go, LOL, K-Huck is cooked. He goes, now what did we learn? By the way, I was going to retract it because I'm just a political terrorist, but thanks for playing ball. I don't, I don't understand his situation. I think he, playing ball, I think he just honestly knew he made a mistake. Kumo, I, I think you made a mistake. I think your head's in the wrong place right now. I get that you want, you know, Cine Bear and this, uh, you know, put into the ground. This whole situation has just made you look absolutely stupid and, and you know, when people are hurt, they do stupid things. So I think you're hurt a lot more deeper than this. I think you need to step away from the internet. Maybe take some of that advice you gave Cine Bear about, uh, you know, IRL stuff. Maybe, maybe go, you know, take, take a month off. Like actually disconnect from the internet for a little bit and uh, maybe find yourself, man. This shouldn't have hurt you that deep. So in all true honesty to wrap everything up. Come on. I don't think you're a bad guy. I just think you're hurt and you've just got really bad faith tactics right now i understand you know things aren't the same and equal for everybody on the internet you might have gotten played a bad hand and then you supported someone you thought you could trust you just really just got fumbled around and tossed around and your trust was just thrown out the window at the end of the day but if you want to have a conversation with me we can do that you know i know a lot of people have written you off already but i, I genuinely think maybe you know you deserve a second chance maybe a third fourth chance i don't know you that well uh for you to come after me it's kind of shocking but at the end of the day, I don't really care about it. Playing ball thing, the Joker mentality thing, or whatever you thought was going on, or what was happening, it just was not working out for you. I genuinely think you need to just go outside, take some time off, maybe get into like arts and crafts, boxing, something, something IRL. Take your mind off. Hey, Black Ops Six is coming out. You know, why not play some Black Ops Six? Add me up. We'll get some zombies going. Maybe some search and destroy rounds. You know, some quick scopes. Put out a montage. Call it a day shake hands cross the bridge i mean never talk about it again you know what i'm saying but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below is kumo bad is kumo l is the end of kumo uh kumo pack watch smoking on that kumo you know what i'm saying guys thank you for listening to watching subscribe to the next one subscribe to your brand new and i'm out of here